Good evening, everyone. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM for our silent Sunday night feature. This week's pick could also qualify as a TCM import. It's from influential French director Marcel Lherbier and based on the work of Italian writer Luigi Pirandello from 1926, Fumatias Pascal. In the United States, the movie is known as The Living Dead Man or the late Matthias Pascal. Pascal is the lead character, and the movie gets its name from the peculiar circumstance Pascal finds himself in. After a series of tragic events, the unhappily married young man goes away to Monte Carlo without telling anyone. In Monte Carlo, fortune smiles on him. He wins big at a casino. But when he returns to his hometown, he discovers everyone thinks he's been killed in an accident. Since he was miserable anyway, and his wife is none the wiser, he decides to start a new life in a new town, it does not go totally smoothly. The film was truly an international affair. The director, Lherbier, produced the film with a Russian film company based in Paris. The company, Albatross, had a great star, one of the top Russian actors of the time, Ivan Mostukain, and he plays Pascal. You'll also be seeing French actress Marcel Prado, Swiss actor Michael Simon, American actress Lois Moran, all playing Italians. Lherbier, the director, was an innovator. In 1943, he founded an institute for studying cinematography in Paris, a place where great filmmakers like Louis Malle and Alain René learned their craft. Critics have long noted the documentary-like realism of Lherbier's photography in this film, and some of his techniques, including using visible ceilings in shots, were later mimicked by greats like Orson Welles. From 1926, here's Fumatias Pascal. 